Well, take a look at these two candidates. They want to be the Oklahoma County Assessor, and that person lists and maintains records for each piece of taxable property in the county. They also determine the fair market value for homes and businesses. And this morning we are joined in studio by Democratic candidate Mike Shelton. Good morning to you, sir. Good morning. Okay, talk about this position. For those that aren't familiar with the county assessor, what do you do? Well, let me just tell you this. First of all, uh, it's been the most difficult uh, part of this job, uh, this campaign, mm -hmm. is explaining to everybody what it does. It flies under the radar, and so many people aren't aware of what uh, the county assessor does. But they uh, do the property assessment, they, mm -hmm. the tax assessment. So most people have the connection of the county assessor's office with the piece of mail that you get right about the middle of November, you'll get how much your house is worth. Right. Uh, unfortunately, and one of the reasons I'm running is ensure that people know who their county assessor is. Uh, uh, the current county assessor is retiring, but people have no idea who it was, and the only connection with that office is the, the uh, envelope they receive once a year. People don't know how their properties are assessed. They don't know why, it go, why it's going up every year 3%. And so I want to make sure that my administration would be out in the community a little bit more, working with neighborhoods associations to make them understand why we assess property the way we do. So what would you do differently than what's going on currently in that office? Well, let me just say this, is that we have talked to thousands of Oklahoma County voters, uh, and what, again, they have no idea who their county assessor is outside of that little piece of paper. And so what I want to do is partner up with uh, local elected officials, state, state or city elected officials to partner with them on town meetings, to go to these town meetings, to make sure they uh, know specifically, uh, these citizens know specifically why their taxes are going up every year. Uh, if you didn't know, a computer basically adds 3% 3, 3 every year, regardless to if it has been actually assessed. Every four years, you're, somebody actually is supposed to come to your house uh, and do an assessment. Uh, but it's not fair, and we need to make sure that, that people are getting fair assessments. How are you different from your opponent in this race? Well, I'm, I'm different in many ways. Uh, first of all is that I'm excited to say that uh, I, my record shows that uh, prior to the Oklahoma House of Representatives, which I have a very clear history of helping people uh, save on the property tax and ensuring that we pro are providing uh, fair valuations uh, to the people of Oklahoma County and the state of Oklahoma. I have that record. Uh, but also, uh, I'm different because I want to make sure that we're doing everything we can do to support education. 70% of every property tax value, uh, property tax uh, home goes to your local public education uh, school. I mean, th this is the foundation of public education comes out of the assessor's office. And ensuring those dollars and any additional dollars that can go support our students, our teachers, and, and our schools is valuable. Now, there's a lot of conversation about the website and something right, that... the current county assessor's website. Current county it, assessor's... And the Yelp review on that thing is like a 2.0. People <laughs> do not like it. People do not like it. And I've talked to people, and there's, there's different kinds of people. There are people that are like realtors that use that... Uh, website all the time and it's valuable to them. There are people that want to be nosy about their neighbor. Hey, what did that house sell for? What did they buy their house for? And they want to see uh, how much it bought for. But what it is, is it's a public safety hazard that is being utilized in our community by out-of-state companies and by people that uh, mean you no good. Now, Maggie, I, I hate to use you as an example, but you have to tell some hard news mm -hmm. uh, sometimes and families are engaged in it. But the fact of it is, is there's nobody that should know exactly where you live. Mm -hmm. There's nobody that should, they should not be able to confirm that Mike Shelton lives where he does. I understand that the square footage may be important. I understand that property value may be important to be on the website, but if somebody means you no good and they can just go to the county website to pull your name off, to say Mike Shelton lives at 123 Main Street in Oklahoma City, they may utilize it for uh, bad reasons. But the second thing is, every time we have a natural disaster, we get companies come across the border. And they can, on that website, they can pull off 
every name in your community, every name address in your community. So they know they have names of people in the houses so they can come down the street and say, uh, uh, like when there's a hailstorm, mm -hmm. they can come down the street and say, oh, I talked to Miss so Allen. So, right. Yeah, acting like they have some familiarity with the neighbors and oh, they trust me and all that. But the fact of it is, is they yeah. never, they never met with Miss Allen. But, but it gives them a, uh, an opportunity to take advantage of our elderly and as well as our most vulnerable communities. Yeah. So one of the main things I want to do is in the first 100 days, figure out how to remove the name mm -hmm. off of that website to make sure that people there's no name. You could have the address on there. You just can, real quickly, because we are out of time. Just give me a quick background, uh, your quick background, professionally, personally. Okay. Real quick. R real quick background. I was in Oklahoma House of Representatives for 12 years. Prior to that, I worked for Oklahoma County uh, Commissioner Jim Roth as one of his deputies. And so I know the, uh, the layout of Oklahoma County pretty well. And I've been very involved in uh, some uh, other uh, redirecting of some county assessor dollars back to the school district of origin. So mm -hmm. I've had a long history in, in county, state government. All right. Well, Mike Shelton, so great to talk with you this morning. We do appreciate it. It's a lot of information. Well, Thank you. <laughs> well, I know we could sit here all day, couldn't we? Because it is one of those offices where we are trying to learn some more. So the Oklahoma County Assessor, Mike Shelton, of course, is Democratic candidate. And then Larry Stein is running on the Republican side. He will be here as well. We will post those interviews. He's going to be here Monday, a matter of fact. And we'll post both of those interviews up on our website so you all can take a look. Okay, stay with us. Almost 930 here on your Thursday morning. We'll be right back after this quick break.